All right, we're back for more. Oh, this is another one. Wait, what the heck? Miniature pedal cars. Got the ladders and everything. That is really neat. Oh, dang it. Okay. Oof. That's mold in there. Do you see that? Whoa, what's this? There's, okay, that's a jewelry box. Hang on a second now. It says right there, I don't know if that's coming on the camera, but it says right there, Sterling. I don't need the loop for that. This is really good. Oh my goodness. The, okay, this says 14K on it right here. You hear that? Wow, the LA gear. Oh, those are a little better. 10 reasons why ladies love Cadillacs. <laughs> Cadillacs are beautiful. Last thing to go through. All right, bittersweet, right? Bittersweet. Let's see what we got, you ready? All right. Oh, that's nice, look at that. All right, we're back for more. All right, Locker Nuts, what is up? We are back at this unit. This is the unit that I paid $1,661 if you include the fees, right? It was 15 something plus fees, uh, $1,661. This has been such a fun locker. It's a 10 by 30. And the whole drama in the beginning about the gun safe getting stolen out of it in the previous auction. If you don't know the full story of this one, go back and watch it. I have a playlist set up both on YouTube and Facebook uh, to watch the full series on this one. Every episode was exciting. Every episode we found amazing stuff. Well, here we have just the remnants, right? The last of it. You can see it's uh, not very much stuff, right? Not too much here. Some of this goes to the dump. Some of it goes to the recycle. Some of it goes to the next flea market. Um, but right now it's all got to go because today's the 31st and this is when my rent is up and I don't want to pay 475 bucks to rent this thing for another month and that's what it costs. Woo. Okay, all right, I'm going to get to work. I don't have a GoPro today. It doesn't matter. Just loading that little truck. Um, that's it. So let me get to it and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, there is the last of it. That's what it looks like. Okay. Yeah, these kinds of loads are not very fun. They're kind of sloppy. Too many things go in different places. Here's what's left for the previous owner. I just talked to the facility uh, employee here and she said, yeah, definitely leave those and they'll put it in their uh, storage shed that's owned by the facility. But there's the beautiful site right there. Pretty much done. I swept it out and it's clean. Yeah, it's amazing how much stuff came out of here. This held a lot. And of course it was stacked nearly to the ceiling in some areas but hey we didn't go through everything we brought some boxes back home a couple times i came here i sold uh the washer dryer for 550 and i sold that toolbox for 40 bucks that was two trips that i made here where i came you know empty-handed basically i'm an empty truck and sold one thing threw a bunch of boxes on my truck to bring home so let's go back there now and uh, look through a few more items see if we can find any more good stuff all right guys we got the first box here Let's see what's in this. Let's see in this one right here. Okay, right on top here, we got another Disney piece. Snow globe, $12.95, so it wasn't a very expensive one. Hallmark, nice, Waltz 100th. Let's see. What's this? Grout, okay. <laughs> this. Why not? Let's store partially used grout. Yeah, okay. Put that right here. Put it right there for safekeeping, right? Okay, we got another uh, patio chair cover. That's cool. I gave the other ones to my mom. She needs those. So um, there you go, mom. You got another one coming. And because uh, we found some like in the first or second episode, I think. But here's some more Hallmark cards, brand new, never used. Yeah, that's nice. How much are those? Three dollars, two dollars, dollar fifty. Okay. Boy, these guys really like to spend money at Hallmark. So much Hallmark. And speaking of Hallmark, look at this. We got a bunch more ornaments right here. And more cards, too. Spent 50 bucks at Hallmark on this stop in 2001. 20 years ago. <laughs> All right, we've got oh, some peanuts. Okay. Yeah, nice. A little $15. Oh, this is the box for pig pen. Dang it. We already sold pig pen. Here we are in the getting down to the very very last of this locker unfortunately because there's just so much stuff that's what, the way it works with these large lockers oh this is another one wait what the heck we had pig pen before this is another one that's great i thought we found the empty box i was gonna say we're getting down to the end 
starting to find the boxes to go with items we've already sold long ago so um because we've had this unit for a month now and we start selling the stuff as soon as we start pulling out but this is another one of the same and that's a good find okay playing cards coca-cola not brand new they've been used but oh, they're in good condition seize candies that is nasty <laughs> that's it's probably 20 year old candy surprised the rats didn't get in there okay what do we got here fire chief hallmark mm, that is cool whoa 25 bucks on that piece wow well, uh, it's numbered 1999 murray incorporated the 1955 murray fire chief very nice that's a nice find it's got a certificate of authenticity and everything Man, I can't believe we got some nice stuff in this box. Uh, unfortunately, they stored their half-used grout in here. And if they hadn't done that, well, it just makes everything a little dirty. But we'll just wipe all the boxes down. Firefighter Hallmark Ornaments. Uh, these are little candles we found some already. Yep. Fire Pumper Set. This is good. It's a lot of firemen-related ornaments. True is our love. Little photo holder. Okay. Coca-Cola hallmark christmas book that's cool oh this is good look at this just like the other one 1962 murray super deluxe fire truck yes i think these are a little bit higher end collectibles here another coa in there yes the little replica pedal cars miniature pedal cars it's got the ladders and everything that is really neat Oh, dang it. Okay, this is the same thing. We got another pedal car, fire related. Nice. Really cool. The COA. There's the box on that 1955 Murray fire truck. Sweet. That's some cool stuff. Yeah, this is this party light or something? Hallmark, but it is for a, a candle. Burn candle. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's just a little snowman candle holder, whatever thingy. Uh oh, what's this? This is another kitty car classics. Okay, it's another one of those higher end ones. This one's bigger. Ooh, look at that, you guys. COA ladders, the little wood ladders. Well, they look like wood, anyways. They're probably resin. Look at that fire tower. That is so cool. The little ladders hang on here, each side. It's a little replica pedal car again. Hallmark, so neat. Look at that. <laughs> this feels high quality. You could tell they they made them right. They made these a little bit better quality. Even the packaging is very intricate. Christopher Radko feels empty. Let's see. Maybe not. Ooh, what's this? Look at that piece. Little Gems Collection, Christopher Radko. What's the price on these? Dashing Through Gem. These are nice. I thought it was empty because they are very light. There's another one. Same thing, Christopher Radko. Yes, nice. Twinkle Tree, Twinkle Tree. Beautiful. Another little ornament, calling all firefighters, nice. What do we got in here? A bunch of placemats. These are nice placemats right here. They're thick and heavy. I'm going to take the shop back and suck out any of this grout, because the rest of this is going to go to uh, flea market. Man, you know what, guys? Look at this. Look at this day. Beautiful. Beautiful weather. It's about 6 o'clock right now. Birds are chirping. The sun is just starting to go down a little bit. The shadows are getting longer, but it is still warm and glorious. And I've got boxes to go through still, and you know, that's <laughs> that's good times. All right, what do we got here? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Paintbrushes, tools. This is great flea market stuff again. Battery charger, that's good. Uh, not seeing really anything interesting. Too interesting here. This is just a flea market box. This is a box of all flea market or garage sale stuff. This one, however, this one's unopened, so 
Let's take that to the uh, side yard garage, but it says fragile. Hmm. Let's take that back there and have a peek see. All right. What do we got? Oh my god. We got basketball, football, gloves, and a Keurig. Oh, how funny. Hmm. It's not even a good basketball. It's, it's like a little stiff, like it's just weathered and old. That as well. Okay. So what do we got for mitts here? Keystone. It's a professional model. I'm not sure if I believe that, but get that. Wilson. Very old. Very old. It's a different looking piece, isn't it? Okay. That looks like a Stanley. It is a Stanley Aladdin. I've had these before. A little bit of value here. Not too much. Not a lot. Still cool find, so. Um, <laughs> Very old crock pot. Has like an original crock pot. Is there any benefit to having an older one? Oof. That's mold in there. Do you see that? That is gross. It didn't clean that one apparently. A good Keurig here. Yeah, that's funny. That looks just, uh, it looks identical to the one I have in the garage, which I also got out of a storage locker. See that right there? <laughs> well, mine's red. A little fancier because it's red. But it works like a champ. I make at least at least one cup every morning sometimes two sometimes three all right i'm in the back of my truck here this right here is all empties yeah not a good find there shoes and purses i think i peeked in this one yeah i do see some shoes and purses okay let's go through that this one okay looks good this old toolbox right here which the drawers are opening but I haven't gone through it. I'll go through that. Uh, whew, heavy. And fr fragile. That's it, guys. That's it. That's the last of it. Let's go. Let's get it done. Okay. More paper. What's in here? Oh, my goodness. It's probably a light bulb. Okay. Yep. This whole box with this paper. All right. Here's a little better. There's something else. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is from the bed frame. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It does say bed frame, something like that, but um, I do have that brass bed frame. There's another one. Another one. Another one. Oh, there's a full on lamp right here. Oh, the rest of the paper. Wow. That's a lot of paper for just a few items. That is crazy. Oh my goodness, we got Corona in this box. Just kidding. Just kidding, just a little COVID humor. I mean, that must be getting old by now. That was kind of interesting, like a year ago now, not so funny. Whoa, what's this? There's, okay, that's a jewelry box. Hang on a second now. This right here, plastic pumpkin light. Let's get this stuff out. Oh, there's some stuff in here, okay. There's a little thermos. Okay, this is, oh, look at this, a little 22 bullet. Okay, we'll type in. Yes. All right, let's look at that in a second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay, what do we have here? This is like the other one we found. Had the same little stripe thing right there. Here's another bullet just came out of there. Ooh, some potential in here. This chain right here. Um, ooh, that looks good right there. Okay, let's we'll see. Corvette. Okay, let's go inside and look at this a little closer. All right, guys. I've got oh, this one of those little plastic keys. Doesn't look like it was cut. I got my magnet, my loop. Um, that's not sticking. Ooh, very nice. Oh. It says right there, I don't know if that's coming on the camera, but it says right there, Sterling. I don't need the loop for that. There's a Sterling Silver money clip, and I really like that. It says Bob. It says Bob. All right. Okay, there are dog tags here. We will get those back to the owner. We'll get that back. What is this? It's not silver or nothing. Nope. Okay, what do we got here? Uh oh 
this is going to be good, guys. This is good right here. This is really good. Oh, my goodness. The, okay, this says 14K on it right here. And on the, the clasp right here, it says 585, which is also 14K. That is a stinking gold chain. That's more gold, I think, that we found in the whole locker. I'm going to weigh that out in just a minute. Let's get through the rest of this right here. All right, this is uh, just a bracelet, stainless steel. It says his name right there, which is Dick. And on the back, it says to Dick from Mom and Dad. Now the crucifix right here, also not stainless or anything. Mm. Oh, it's a full-on rosary beads. Okay, we found a fair amount of rosary beads in this locker. And here's another one. I don't see any markings on it for silver. It's pretty tarnished, so it could be, but I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. A little charm. Cuff link with the N on it. N. Another little tie pin here. I'd love for these to be gold, but not got two of those now 1966 it's a receipt $45.80 and it's for model 270 Winchester rifle and ammo that's pretty dope okay let's see let's see here's my scale let's see how much 14k gold we got oh yeah that's juicy eight grams eight grams that's $35 scrap value a gram okay times eight so what's that that is, yes, 280 bucks in gold. That's all right. That's all right with me. <laughs> Towards the end of this locker, this, this locker is still giving us surprises. Holy moly. Okay, what is this box saying? Oh, Peppers. I don't know if that means peepers or if that is like somebody named Peppers, like maybe Grandpa. His name is Peppers. More peep paper uh the meaning packing paper on top all right this is not looking so good it is looking like a lot more pappers there's a mousers couple old pc games right here okay some game tickets a's 1997 that's kind of cool an old office 2011 10 year old software that's not so good not so good. What is this though? Oh, this was a video camera. A little bit of film. The film's good. The bag can go to the garage sale or the flea market, whatever. Another little pin right here. A's. Okay. More junk mail. Yep. I can't see I'm all that surprised by the fact there's more junk mail. Okay, next box. This one says shoes and purses. We just peeked in that. And. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Ooh, that's <laughs> kind of ugly. What is in here? Ew. Ew. Yeah, this looks older. Made in China. I don't see a year on it, but that's not real impressive. Okay, this purse right here probably is past its prime. <laughs> yeah. You hear that? Wow. The it's actually disintegrating and pieces of it falling down, okay? That's a loss. Loss, loss, loss. What's right here? Nothing. A little stained up tissue paper. Gross. Okay. Another little tissue. This one's not too bad, though. That's, that's decent. Mm-hmm. Another little decent purse, but nothing special. Really hoping to find something in one of these, but no luck, no luck. All right, now is that a design or is that cracks in the leather? Oh, I think it's cracks actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Now, oh boy, why did they keep these? They must be like, actually, they're moldy. That, that's actually moldy. It must have got wet at some point. LA gear. Oh, those are a little better. Huh, look how cool those are. These are not bad at all. I see like a little glue. I think that's just the way they were made back then. Right? I don't know. Those are cool. You gotta do the twist test. Right, because they've been stored in a locker. Probably not too warm, but if they got warm, if they got hot, they could have weathered a lot faster. Those are 45 bucks brand new on sale. Whew. 
Those we might bring to the vintage market. These are nice. Look at this. Little moccasins, leather. They are they're worn, but those are those are pretty neat too. Oh, it's Minnetonka. Wow. Vintage Minnetonka shoes. Naturalizers, okay. Avia. Hmm. More vintage. These ones are a little bit more worn. They still got some life left in them though. Mm. Mm -mm. Here's a brand new. Nothing fancy here though, guys. Nothing too fancy. Nine West. Used, older. Finger paints, huh? Brand new seal. Koala Craft. Ew. Huh. It says the shoes with the $20 look. Boy, that must that must mean they were pretty old. Today, $20 would be the bottom of the barrel, but back then they're basically saying $20 with some upscale shoes. What is this? Look at that. The bottom, the last box we go through, a whole bunch of notes. Hello, sweet pea. How are you doing? Great, I hope. So what's new? Not much here, but I just wanted to say that I had a great time on Friday. I hope Jenny and Greg did too. I went and saw three men and a baby on Saturday night and it was funny. That was tonight, Saturday. We also went to dinner and shopped around. Jenny and Stacy are so funny. They are both about 25 or 26 and they act about 15 years old. But of course when the time comes they act their age but we were just so obnoxious tonight. And it was fun. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Yeah, all right, well that's a little different, but I can't say it's a little better. It's just it is what it is Okay guys almost forgot about this. We're not done Kind of done with boxes, but we got this machine. It looks like machinist toolbox. Oh I don't have to get that off a little better, but so here we got a box that was some of the just a few of the tools that I took out of the toolbox All right, let's see if we're gonna add anything to it. Here's just a bunch more bits these things, I don't know if those are... Oh, I like those. Some neat stuff here. But nothing too crazy expensive. Those are useful. Actually, you know, I'll throw that in there. Why not? Okay. Oh, I don't even know if I'll do that. Oh, man, that's a lot of bits right here. These that's are, a lot of bits. These are really nice. Yeah, let's do it too. More bits. Ooh, look at this little tiny clamp right there. <laughs> that's cute. Is it old? Looks like it. Yeah, it does. Cincinnati Tool Company, number 50. Mm, cute. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. It's all these little key chucks right here. Those are cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I'll put those in there. A little Makita for like your drill. I might keep that. Whoa. Okay. More. Another little key chuck there. Dude, those are nice. There are so many of these. It's crazy. Okay. What do we got here? Chisels, some files, another. What's this? Is. Like a wooden. Yeah, that piece. Huh. Hmm. That's the drawers. I don't think we'll put too much into the auction. This is a great flea market stuff. The box itself, I think, deserves a little better. We might bring that to the antique market. It's a very old machinist box. All right, let's see what's in here. Ooh, that just comes right off. Okay. Maybe not the <laughs> other one, yeah. yeah so we got another of these old brushes. Is this for brushes. woodworking, remember? Did we see those before? These brushes are so cool. Mm hmm You know they've been used lots of times. It says machine shop on that. Right here. It's cool. He made his own. My dad used to do that and make their own little cases out of things. That's cool. Oh, how neat. Look at this. This is, it has letters on it. That's heck cool. This is for metalworking. All of these. Oh, that's what these are. Those are awesome. So you, you, you know, when you, maybe for wood too, I don't know. But I think for wood, then you get the hammer and you go bang and it bangs the, the number. In there. That's really cool. I wonder what year that newspaper is under there. It looks mighty old. Let's see. All right, let's see what you this baby. Should we guess? It's got a Cadillac out right there. Whoops. Oh, that has that, really oh, old. Oh, that's really old. I was going to say 60s. Might be 50s. 62. 62. Oh, the day before Valentine's Day. Look. 
They have a little ad for McFarland's candy for Valentine's Day. Hmm. Aw, how much is it, I wonder? Is that price point? A dollar ninety-five for a pound. What the seven ninety-five? Wow. Interesting. This is a nineteen sixty-two Cadillac or sixty-three maybe, but ten reasons why ladies love Cadillacs. <laughs> Cadillacs are beautiful. They are safe and dependable. These are cute. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Cool. So this box, this could be from the 1960s. This box right here. 59 years old. Yeah, it's neat. Ooh, that's cool. Nice box. All right, guys. Last thing to go through. All right, bittersweet, right? Bittersweet. We have this trunk. This trunk. It's a. It's a decent looking trunk. It's got some veneer peeling off. A couple sections here. It's missing a foot. That one's there, but the other side's gone. But still, kind of a neat piece. I love finding these. You just never know what's going to be inside, although I haven't found anything really, really interesting inside this type of trunk before. But there usually are some time capsule type stuff, except for the one I bought with manual. We found some real treasures in those trunks. Those are a little bit different. Let's see what we got. You ready? All right. Ooh. Yes. This is looking like time capsule type stuff. It's got that mothball smell too which is good that's good right because oh, this is sun in service us this is sterling right here sterling hmm it's like that gold plated sterling that's that's a nice pin right there Ooh, okay we're off to a good start let's see what we got here a little handmade pottery a wedding bell uh, what's this about i got a little scroll Oh, a diploma. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. What's this one? Huh, 1961. Holy Sacraments. Okay. All right. We got some old letters and stuff here. That's good. Some more ephemera. There's a collector market for all this old paperwork and letters, cards, photos, all that kind of stuff. There's a little old photo right there. Cute. We'll put all this kind of stuff aside. Ooh, someone's will. That's always interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. I love reading these. When do you get to read a will, right? Seeing that he's married, um, all the estate goes to his wife. In case his wife uh, dies before, he gives the estate to the four children. Yes, okay, that's interesting. Um, these are salt and pepper shakers right here. Oh, sweet, there's the foot. That's awesome. Because I was thinking, oh, that's going to be hard to match. Wait, this only... Yeah, that's the foot. It goes right back there. That's great. Great, great, great. Okay, over here i got more ephemera. This will be in our next live auction, if I didn't mention that yet. We do live auctions every Monday night. Every Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific on our YouTube channel. And uh, every now and then we'll do an, an extra auction, such as over this la very last weekend. We did one on uh, Sunday, Sunday night. We did a two-night event. That's the first time we've ever done that two nights in a row. Quite a success. We sold a ton of stuff. All right, this is a bunch more ephemera here. Old stuff. And we're not going to spend too much time on it. This is 1952 right here. Those letters. And a telegram. That's cool. There's a lot of old paperwork. All this old paperwork is going to go in one lot in our next auction. Unless there's not enough, then we'll put it aside and wait till we find some more in the next locker. There's a... Uh, it almost looks like a band uniform like from a school very tiny though no tags or anything that's, that's interesting all right it's an old sombrero it's decent quality too yeah that looks like a little mariachi jacket right there that's what it looks like to me it matches the hat oh look at this you guys now this is good okay we have an old flag i mean maybe it's not that old it does look old though i guess i shouldn't uh, jump to conclusions though i'm assuming it's old just because of the age of the other contents in here this is probably from the 1950s i would guess yeah look at that okay a little bit of staining over here and let's count the stars one two three four five six seven eight times one two three four five six 48 stars okay so that's a that's a clue as to the age Okay, I'll fold that up off camera, but that is a nice piece right there. We'll definitely sell that in our auction as well. Love finding those older flags. We don't find them that often. Old baby clothes. 
<laughs> oh, it looks like somebody's wedding veil. That's pretty nice. With a wedding dress. Did we already find a wedding dress? No, I'm getting to stick with a different, different locker. Different locker. There's a wedding dress. Well, that's kind of unfortunate because we just left all the stuff behind. I should go back to the owner. And this wasn't in there. You usually return them because uh, they're not worth very much on the secondary market. Very hard to sell wedding dresses. Another little old dress there. Mm, more wedding stuff. Okay. Looks like a project they were in the middle of making a little outfit. Oh, there we go. There's the band uh, band outfits. That's probably what the other piece was. Maybe homemade. Some more old pieces of fabric or something. Theatrical Fabric and Shoe Company, 1956. Yikes. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Now there's some embroidery. Beautiful piece. What is that considered? A little tapestry? It looks uh, Asian, obviously. Wow, okay, I wasn't expecting that. I thought this was another little band outfit piece. Look at that. Yes, I would say maybe Japanese because that looks like Mount Fiji. Very cool. I don't know. Okay, there's another piece of that mariachi. <laughs> oh, look at this. A little Goldilocks. I mean, is that what it is? No. Red Riding Hood? I don't know. These two dolls are vintage. Those will have to go in a vintage lot. A plastic uh, candle holder, maybe? There's all these things here. I think these are probably off the wedding table, maybe? Decorations. Ooh, this is something nice right here. Mmm, look at that. That took some major, major time to put together. That's a beautiful little piece right there. That is old. Yeah, we did have some vintage textiles in here, so I was right. I peeked in, I thought that this was, this was going to be full of that, but I did peek in this thing, you know, in the unit, where it was, because it felt light. I thought it was empty, so I peeked in it, but it was dark back there. I thought I saw vintage textiles. I guess maybe I saw this, or maybe I was completely wrong and just coincident. Memories. Okay, some announcements and stuff. Starlight Prom. Old photos. Ooh, that's a cool photo right there. Yeah, that's a neat one. All right, we'll put that with the ephemera. All right, what do we got here? It looks to be an old umbrella. Aha. Uh -huh. I think this is going to be nice. Oh, nice. So look at that. Hmm. It's pretty nice fabric. It's definitely older. This is a vintage piece here. Look at all the work done in here. That's pretty cool. That we definitely should probably save for a vintage market. I would say put it into our auctions. If you guys want to see this in our auctions, let me know, but shipping on that's going to be difficult just because of the length. But we could do it. It's a little different. Oh, look at that. Cub Scouts. Very old Cub Scout hat. <laughs> Neat. What's in here? Uh, sad. Memorial record. All right. Yeah. We prefer the happy stuff, <laughs> like the uh, weddings, you know, baby announcements, the funerals. Yeah, it's sad. There's another one. Abiding memories. All right, another piece here. Looks like to the mariachi. And what's this? Another really interesting piece right there, South Seas. And it's, it's almost like a quilt. It has all these different fabrics here. Pretty cool. Harmony in Marriage. It's an old book. 1939. Jeez. 80 years old plus. Oh, here's another one of those creepy Santa pictures. They found like the creepiest stinking Santa Clauses around. Look at that dude. That's the stuff of nightmares right there. Seriously, a couple more old cards here. Thinking of you, sweetheart. It's an older card, almost MCMXL2. I do not know what that translate to in Roman numerals, but I'm guessing it's probably from the 50s. This as well, very nice cards. And that too. We'll put that in the ephemera lot. Keep building that ephemera lot. It's coming up to be a pretty nice lot. Yeah, actually, we'll throw that in too, because look at those old stamps right there. 
Wait, what? It says, it says win the war. It's a three cent stamp, win the war. Does that mean that's a 1940s piece? It could be. Definitely could be. All right. There's, I don't know, a doily or something? <laughs> Parents Magazine Baby Care Manual. That's pretty funny. 1951, fourth quarter 1951. Wowza. Oh, there's another really nice wedding photo. Nice, really nice. New Shanghai Terrace Bowl. Yeah, we found we found one of these like in the first dig, like the first day. I found some of these pieces. It's such a nice piece. It's in Oakland, California. I don't think that is there anymore. And uh, this is from the 1940s, I believe. I don't see the the uh, date stamp there, but the other pieces that we found were 1940s. That is super cool. That one's in great condition too. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at that old photo. Yeah, getting down to it here, guys. All right, that's one of the last pieces. It's not that impressive. It looks like a print, actually. I see the little dot pattern in it. Uh, but the frame is probably the money. The frame, this frame is old, extremely old. And those, there's people looking for old frames. The picture itself, I don't know. I see a dot pattern in there. I think that's a print. Probably a reproduction or something. All right, a little more ephemera. And is there something in this paper? Nope. That's about it. All right, we got a couple pieces up here. We'll put in auction lots. The rest of it, we'll put in a box to get back to the owner. And uh, yeah, this will probably save for a vintage market. Oh man, I think that means it's a wrap. <laughs> Boo! It's sad. <laughs> I like the good ones. I don't want them to end. It's so much fun. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully uh, you watched the series. Thanks for watching the series if you did. We uh, we had a lot of fun, didn't we? Found a lot of great stuff, a lot of surprises. This one was an adventure and that's what we buy them for. It's the adventures, that thrill. It's uh, not knowing what we're gonna find and uncovering stuff that you didn't expect, especially stuff of value. And we found all of that kind of stuff in this locker. It was a good run, but uh, now it's time to go on to the next, all right? So, um, well, there's one one sitting in my van right now that I bought recently and more auctions coming up in the next couple days so it's go time all right we'll have another video out rolling out very very soon but until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on locker nuts some bags look at this it's like a little amplifier or something and I was worried this might be plastic that is metal <laughs> oh, what is that Okay, wait, I didn't even know that opens. Already. What we got here? What the heck?